Solo. My name is Robbie Solo Gamer Friend, and this is Gaming Solo Playthrough of Tiny Epic Quest. Designed by Scott Alms and produced by Gameland Games. Without any further delay, let's get into the setup. First thing you want to do is you want to grab your map cards. You want to separate the four castles. The four castles you see in the top right hand corner, one for each color. Separate them, put them to the side temporarily. What you should have is the remainder of the cards in your hand. Go ahead and shuffle, give them a good shuffle. And once that shuffle is complete, you want to lay them out. You want to lay five of them out in a T pattern or a plus pattern. You have two sides to a card. You have the green side, you have like dark blue side. Dark blue side is for the variant called Gloomfall. We're going to be playing with the green side, which is the normal variant. So like I said, you want to grab five randomly and lay them out in a plus sign pattern. Just like that. And I will be cleaning this up momentarily once we get it set up. Then you want to grab your four castles. Doesn't matter where you put them at, I just mix them up randomly. Lay them out. You want to lay each one in the four corners of the pattern to complete a three by three grid. Then, when that's complete, grab the remainder of your cards and you want to place them in this pattern here. You want to put one in each of the four middle sections, looking just like this. Then you take the remainder four and you place one to the right here, one at the bottom, one to the left here, and one at the top until you complete this pattern right here. Now we'll take the moment just to fix my cards up a bit. Next go and grab your player card of your color. I'm playing with yellow and just place that somewhere on the board that works best for you. Then take the three meeples and place them on the castle of your color. Next you want to grab your max health token and your max power token. They look just like this. You have a brown one and a purple one. And line them up on the three for the max power and six for the max health. This is going to keep track of the maximum health and power you are at at that time. Then of course take your power and your health token, which is just the heart and that little tri symbol right there, and place them on the six and the three themselves also. Next you want to grab your three legendary items. Your legendary items are the shield, the staff, and the sword that come for the with the character. And place them on the leftmost part of your adventure card. You will earn these as you complete objectives throughout the game. Next grab your adventure card. Set the adventure one side, rest the other side. And place the adventure card someplace within sight so you can keep track of your actions that you're going to take. Well, not keep track, but follow the flow of actions take. I'm going to lay my adventure card right here in this little nook. Next, grab your magic card. Make sure the top left-hand corner, it shows for solo play, one player. And place that someplace with a view. I'm going to place mine right here. Then grab your spell token, which is the butterfly. And place that at the very beginning of the track here, on the zero space right before you get to the first spell. Then grab the purple mushroom and place that on the very first space of the spell track at the top that tracks your mushroom movements or your mushrooms. Then grab your purple magic token and place that at the very beginning of the track of the magic track. Next grab your round card with your goblin head round tracker and place that someplace where you can keep track of the rounds. I think I'll place it right over here and you put it on the very first space of the round tracker. Grab seven of your goblin tokens, you have green and red side, and place them on the goblin locations, green side up, with the zero pointing to the top, or the, see that little symbol at the very top there, like almost like a little diamond? That's pointing to the very top, where the skull is slightly to the right. Point that at the top so it's facing upwards, so you can track damage given to those goblins. You should have seven of those total. They go on each of the seven little cards that have the goblin symbol at the very bottom left corner. It's important you make sure that little diamond is at the very top. Because I said it track, helps you track damage of the goblins. Then grab the rest of the goblin tokens and put them somewhere on the board that's within easy reach of you. I'm going to place mine right here. Next, grab your five movement cards. These are right here. Shuffle them up real good and just place them someplace within reach of you. really doesn't matter how you shuffle them up, you're going to shuffle them up every time you play. And we'll put them just slightly to the right over here. Then go ahead and grab all your quest cards. 
shuffle them up, and lay them out, drawing three cards. Remember, when you deal them out face up, you must have one movement card and one treasure card at all times. If you deal them out and you don't have one of those, then discard the last card in the row and pull another one out until you have at least one of each on the board out of the three. I'm going to place my right here, so I'm going to move my round tracker. I'm going to move it over here to give me more room to work it. If I deal them out here, I'll set this right here. Then one, two, and three. And I have one movement card and two treasure cards ready to go. Finally, the game comes with an item rack. It looks just like this. Kind of sandwich board shaped. And you can place your weapons on there. But because of my meat hands and the way I tear stuff up, I'm just going to put them on the board with an easy reach for me, which is up here. But this is a nice little rack. You put your weapons on there for display. You just grab what you want off. But like I said, I would probably end up tearing it up, so I rarely use it. And when I do use it, I want to play with other people so they can get it off for me so I don't jack it up. And there you have the setup for Tiny Epic Quests. And I look forward to you joining me when we do the playthrough tomorrow. And have a great day.